Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May peace be upon you. Ha, how are you today? Okay. So, ready to learn through this video ah? Okay ah? Okay. So, we've discussed about it before. So, I will give you a lecture video. Okay, every time during your class time ah. Okay, I will give it and I will upload the video. Okay, through the uh, YouTube and then uh, you can check your Google Classroom. Okay, for the video. Okay, so let's continue with our next chapter which is mixing process. Okay, so please refer to this uh, schematic adiabatic process, uh, schematic diagram here. Okay, so mixing process is the process where we want to mix together two extremes. Okay, we mix two extremes into one extreme. Okay, so we will have extreme number one and also extreme number two. Okay, so when we mix together these two extremes, of course, these two extremes will mix and it will produce a new mass flow rate, a new temperature, a new humidity ratio and also enthalpy. Okay, if we plot it, on this uh, psychrometric chart okay if we plot it on this psychrometric chart so if this one okay is the extreme number one and this one is extreme number two okay so when they mix together okay when they mix together the mixture okay the condition of the mixture will be along this line here okay for example, they put condition number 3, ah, the mixture here at here. But it can also be here or it can also be here. Okay, depends on the quantity of the extreme of extreme number 1 and extreme number 2. Okay, it will move along. Ah, but still, it will be on this line here. Okay, connecting from extreme number 1 to extreme number 2. Okay, to calculate the final product which is the mixture ah, very very easy okay if you look at this one here we have to calculate the temperature mass flow rate number one this one multiply with the temperature number one here plus mass flow rate number two multiply with the uh, temperature okay number two over the total of mass flow rate that's it okay very very simple ah Okay, and please make sure that this temperature here, okay, we can use dry bulk temperature, no problem. Okay, this one, ah, huh? and to calculate the enthalpy, also same, you just change from temperature to enthalpy. That's it, ah, huh? this one. So the same, uh, the similar equation to calculate humidity ratio. Also, we use the similar equation we just change from temperature to humidity ratio okay w w okay okay so cooling and dehumidification process okay dehumidification means that we want to remove the water content inside of the air Okay, so we want to remove it means that we want to change the gas, okay, the water vapor into a liquid. Okay, uh, so that is the dehumidification process. Okay, so there are four methods that may be used to carry out the dehumidification process. The number one, cooling the air to the temperature below its dew point. Okay, if you still remember, when it is a dew point, the relative humidity is 100%. Okay. Relative humidity cannot exceed 100%. Cannot. Okay. So, if. If. Huh? So, if. There is an extra moisture. In 100% of relative humidity. Means that that moisture must be. Converted to liquid. Okay. So, that moisture will change automatically to. Liquid. Okay. So, which is why. After we drop the temperature below its dew point, the relative humidity will maintain uh, 100%. Okay, so the extra moisture will change to water. Uh, okay, 
So, which is why when we are using uh, air conditioning system, we must have a pipe okay, releasing the water to the outside. Okay, because cooling coil is very, very cold. Uh, okay, uh, the cooling coil inside the aircon is very, very cold. So, the air surrounding the cooling coil okay, will become very, very low temperature. Okay, and then it will become... Uh, the temperature will be below than the dew point temperature of the coil. So that's why a water will be produced okay, by the uh, cooling coil or the air conditioning system. Okay. So please make sure uh, to have the piping. Uh, if not, your air conditioning system will be broken. Uh. Okay. So the number two is using absorption process. Okay. Using absorption. Oh, number, number three using absorption material and number four compress and cool the air okay so these are the four methods that we use so the first method here this one uh, represents the normal practice to cool and dehumidify the moist air in air conditioning system just like what i mentioned uh. okay so dehumidification means that we want to take out the moisture humidification is we want to add a moisture Okay, this one ah, uh, humidification of air. So it takes place by injecting saturated or superheated streams, steams, sorry ah, uh, steams inside the air conditioning ducts using fine nozzles, and the equipment is called a humidifier. Okay, so somehow we want also we want to add moisture, okay, to the air also. Okay, so we use this one ah, uh, uh, injecting saturated or superheated steams. Okay. So, before we learn about this one, uh, okay, before we've learned about the process, okay, of the system here, okay, how the system is, uh, work, uh, how the system works, okay, so before we've learned about this one, we need to recap back, recap about sensible heat and also latent heat, okay. So sensible heat is the heat that we use to increase or decrease the temperature. Okay. So again, ah, so when we say sensible heat, this one, okay, it is about increasing or decreasing the temperature. This one. Okay. So means that the heat will be added all the heat will be removed okay from the moist air uh, this one also important ah uh, at constant humidity ratio uh, okay humidity ratio maintain ah uh. so if we draw the sensible heat okay humidity ratio constant the sensible heat will be like this okay increasing or decreasing at the one okay so what about latent heat Okay, latent heat. So, latent heat here, okay, the key point here is temperature is constant. Okay, means that we don't change the temperature. Okay, so if this is the psychrometric chart, okay, so the temperature is constant means that it will be like this. Okay, so temperature below here is temperature, huh? let's say T1, okay, and this one is T2, okay. So sensible heat will work here. Eh? Sensible heat, this one, sensible heat, increasing or decreasing the temperature. But for latent heat, maintaining the temperature, okay. But will increase or decrease like this, okay. So the temperature is constant, okay. So what latent heat do is that latent heat will be used by the substance or to make it easy by the water lah by the water to change it phase from liquid to gas or gas to liquid so when we want when we want to change or when the water wants to change the phase the water must use latent heat to do that okay so which is why latent heat the temperature is constant so now you get the idea about the mixing process okay so after this i will explain about the simple system 
with 100% of a recirculated air. Simple system, uh, sorry, uh, system with outdoor air for ventilation where the bypass is zero and also system with outdoor air for ventilation when the bypass is zero. Okay, so see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.